Oh man, we got some dope news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video but before we get started you already know the vibes man give the video a big gigantic thumbs up all right the first news item details of sony's new PlayStation VR headset have been leaked and the specs are impressive. Now Sony's already showed what the controllers look like. Controllers look so dope futuristic, but this is coming from VideoGameChronicles.com. Next gen PlayStation VR is reportedly 4K, has vibration motor and foveate rendering. And so, according to multiple sources, Sony's upcoming hardware will offer a resolution of a 4K resolution, uh, which is slightly less than the current market leader, HP Reverb G2, and a bit more than the Oculus Quest 2, 4000 by 2080 pixels. And so, according to this report, <coughs> it's going to have a higher resolution than the oculus quest 2 um so that's pretty dope all right it says it will also include gaze tracking capable of foveate rendering um, a lens separation adjustment dial and a vibration motor allowing developers to provide direct haptic feedback sony has reportedly informed partners and so They've already showed us the controller. I think VR could be coming in 2022. And um, kits, uh, models are going out to developers. Sony is starting to let the developers know what to expect. And, of course, we get all of the leaked information, the goodness. Now, <coughs> I passed on VR on the PlayStation 4. I'm definitely going to be picking up VR on the PlayStation 5. It looks dope. Really, really, really liking uh, my PS5 right now. And so, can't wait. Looks like we're going to be getting a quality, a quality VR experience. Bro, let's talk about Xbox gamers and how Game Pass is now going to be a double-edged sword for Xbox. This is why. The sale charts, the first sale charts for Resident Evil Village have come out. This is coming from the UK. And 80% of Resident Evil Village sales were on PlayStation. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 had the most with um, roughly 50%. Um, PlayStation 4 had about 30%. Xbox only had 20% of Resident Evil Village sales. This is between Xbox One and Xbox Series XS. Bro, I'm telling y'all, Xbox, <laughs> now I know why Sony gets all these exclusive deals, partners with um, developers, because their fan base buys games. And I partially blame these Resident Evil low sale numbers on the Xbox platform to Game Pass. If you have an Xbox and you keep getting Outriders, oh, I don't need to spend $70. The game is on Game Pass. MLB, I don't need to spend $70. The game is on Game Pass. What are your expectations for the next big AAA third-party game? <coughs> when is it coming to Game Pass? This game is not selling um, to Capcom's expectations on the Xbox platform because of Game Pass. 
Xbox um, gamers are starting to be conditioned to wait for games to just come out on Game Pass and just buy it then. A double-edged sword because I'm almost guaranteed the developers make way less money with the Game Pass cut as if you would have bought the game at launch for the full retail price. I mean, we want quality games, we want gamers, we want developers to push the limits with specs and all that. All of that costs money. And so we want gamers to make these games, <laughs> but we don't want to pay for the games and we want developers to work for free. And so um, I thought this was very telling that 80%, now this is in the UK, to be fair, and to be honest, um, Xbox does better in the States, but I could imagine um, PlayStation version of Resident Evil is also outselling um, the Xbox version in the US too. It's, it's gonna show up when the NPD numbers come um, later this month, watch. But Game Pass is starting to be a double-edged sword. Xbox gamers are starting to stop buy games, stop buying games and just waiting for um, it to come out on Game Pass now. It is what it is. Bro, next news item. I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, shout out to one of my sponsors, Anish. He shared this in our gaming Discord when I was hang I hang out with the sponsors. You know what I'm saying? We be gaming, we be chilling every night on my gaming channel. Um, he shared this Xbox first party roadmap that has been circling the internet. And it's very telling. I have to say, personally, there are too many games. It's showing a roadmap of Xbox games coming from 2021 all the way to 2025. And looking at the list, there aren't too many games that I'm interested that, that Xbox is, has ex, as far as exclusives this generation. All right, 2021, Age of Empire 4, Deathloop, which is first on PS5, Microsoft Flight Sim, Psychonauts, Forza Horizon 5, Starfield, and Halo Infinite. 2022, Avowed, Ghostwire Tokyo, Hellblade 2, Wolfenstein 3, Project Mara, Arcane Austin, Unannounced Project. 2023, Doom 3, Gear 6, Everwild, Zenimax Online, Unannounced Project, Fable, Forza Motorsport, Compulsion Games, Unannounced Project, J Josh Sawyer, Unannounced Project. <coughs> 2024, in Enzile, Unannounced Project. Outer Worlds 2, Perfect Dark, Evil Within 3, Roundhouse Studios Unannounced Project, Double Fine Unannounced Project, The Coalition Unannounced Project, and finally, last but not least, 2025, Elder Scrolls 6, State of Decay 3, Indiana Jones, Arcane Lion Next Project, World's Edge Next Project, Zenimax Online Unannounced Project, 343 Industries Next Project. <coughs> For the next five years, there's only two games that stood out to me. Fable and Perfect Dark. And I am not buying an XJ console for two games throughout the entire lifespan of the console. I'm gonna just keep it a buck. Um, but that's the, the roadmap for Xbox. We don't know if this is official, but this has been circulating on the internet. And I'm like, mm. But speaking of gears, we saw on this roadmap that Gear 6 was for 2023. There is a news article. This is coming from comicbook.com. That Gears of War 6 release date is very far away. And so according to this article, the next Gears game, which is one of Microsoft's bread and butter, Halo, Gears, and Forza, that the next Gears is a far ways away. All right. And they're basing this off of the official Gears 5 website, which the coalition has revealed that moving forward, it will be changing its game engine, the Unreal Engine 5 for its next generation titles. And so they're saying that this takes, um, this is gonna take quite a while to transition and that um, Gears 6 could be um, longer in development, could be taking longer to develop than fans previously expected. And the last news item for this video, a PlayStation 5 surprise exclusive coming later this year. Yep, according to Roberto Serrano, this game right here, Abandoned, 
Blue Box Game Studios is ready to show soon gameplay footage of Abandoned, a cinematic first-person horror survival shooter set in a highly detailed open-world environment coming exclusively on PlayStation 5 later this year. I'd have to keep it a buck. Zero interest in this game. <coughs> it sounds like a Resident Evil type game. Not a big fan of the Resident Evil series. And uh, this is going to be a game I'm going to pass on. But it's cool to know y'all got another PS5 exclusive coming soon. All right, dudes. Those are all of the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boys.